For more analysis on the attacks by the Boko Haram, we are now joined live here in studio by George Musamali, a security and anti-terrorism expert. Thank you, George, for joining us. Welcome. So there's been critics within Nigeria saying the government hasn't dealt with the Boko Haram threat seriously. Um, how, what do you think, uh, how, how has Nigeria dealt with this situation? I personally think uh, the Nigerian government has done what has to be done when it comes to matters of dealing with terrorists. Remember, it's not an easy thing when you're dealing with a force that is invisible. Remember, uh, these terrorists are not a conventional army where you can wage conventional war. So you'll find they're using the hit and run tactic. And so far you'll find that uh, the reaction of the Nigerian government has been in uh, declaring a state of emergency in three states, the northern states, where we have the state of Yebo, we have the state of Adamawa and the state of Borno that were placed under a state of emergency sometimes last year, I think in the month of May. And you find we had a lot of deployment of the military in those areas, but you still those interventions have still failed to contain the Boko Haram and they're still waging that war. That is why we believe that uh, the Nigerian government needs to have a change of tack in dealing with this uh, Boko Haram menace. And there's been reports saying that Boko Haram now plans to spread its activities beyond borders, uh, perhaps in countries like the Central African Republic to protect Muslims. Um, I'm just wondering, how do you think they, 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 are, they, they pose a credible threat? Uh, they pose a uh, credible threat, and that is why you find that uh, we are seeing the France government trying to intervene in Nigeria, bearing in mind that uh, these are the big players in the Central African Republic, and they're acting out of intelligence. And you believe, uh, if you look at uh, what, uh, how the Boko Haram is fighting, they are fighting an Islamist war. And uh, you find that uh, in the uh, Central African Republic, uh, the Muslims are under siege from the Christians. So you will find that uh, the Boko Haram have the capacity of going to the Central African Republic, but still we are also doubtful about their capacity, bearing in mind that uh, their hands are now full fighting their own war in uh, northern Nigeria. Mm. So at the moment we are not seeing any credibility in their getting involved in the Central African Republic. And I think uh, that is why the French are running in to preempt that kind of threat mm. by trying to assist the Nigerians in fighting the Boko Haram in the north. But do you think then that the solution to this crisis is international help? I don't think international help is the solution. I think uh, we need to have home-based solution to this problem. Uh, if you look, the Americans have been there long enough. This war has been going on for the last four years. And we have, we had American intervention for the last four years, two years, and still these people are still killing in northern Nigeria. So I believe, uh, as uh, President Jonathan uh, Goodluck said yesterday, uh, they need to look at home-based solutions. For example, he talked about creating econ economic opportunities in the north, uh, expanding social uh, inclusion, and also trying to make sure that uh, the people in, northern, in the northern part of Nigeria also get education. I think those are the kind of the solutions that we should look for not military intervention as we are seeing at the moment. All right. Thank you, George, for those insights. That's George Musemali live with us here in studio.